Another way we can look at isotopic uh, percent abundance problems or atomic mass problems is kind of go about them backwards or at least uh, have the problem kind of have you come up with the percent abundances if we give you the average mass and the mass of the two isotopes. So in this example we've got nitrogen it's made up of two isotopes N14 and N15. Given nitrogen's atomic weight of 14.007, what is the percent abundance of each isotope? And here we tell you that the mass of uh, nitrogen 14 is 14.004074, and the mass of nitrogen 15 has a mass of 15.000108, a lot of zeros. So what we do is we take a look at um, each isotope. So we've got N14 and N15. 15, kind of create a little table where we have our masses. So we've got 14.004074 and 15.000108. And we've got our percent abundance. And with this, we don't know what they are, but we know that our percentages should have to add up to 100%. So we'll arbitrarily call nitrogen 14's mass, we'll call that X. And any percentages have to add up to 100%. Well, 100% is also just 1, the number 1. So we're going to take 1 minus x. So whatever nitrogen is not nitrogen 14 has to be nitrogen 15. And, uh, and then what we're going to do is just like what we did in one of the other problems, is we're going to multiply our mass by our percentages. So this is going to give us, let's see, oops, that should be our multiplies parentheses, multiplied parentheses, there we go. So this should give us 14.004074x, and this should give us 15.000108x uh, minus, uh, well, I'm sorry, that shouldn't be an x, minus uh, 15000 Zero one zero eight x. So I've just distributed this. So that times one gives us this. That times x gives us that. And we know when we add these together, uh, this whole thing should add up to fourteen point zero zero seven. Well, whenever I did algebra, I never set it up like this. So what I'm going to do is write this out as like a line or a linear equation. Uh, 4074x. Um, I'm going to combine my like terms kind of so that they're next to each other. So I've got a minus 15.00108x. Uh, and then I'm going to subtract that out from each side. So this is going to be equal to 14.007 minus 15.000108. All right. So let me add those two together. And when I subtract that number from that number, I end up with a negative 0 0.997006. Um, and we're going to set that up to the sum of those numbers, or the difference between those. And when I do that, I get negative uh, 0 0.993108. And you know, I forgot the x over here, so that's going to be x. To get that x all by itself, I'm just going to divide each side by 0 0.997006. And when I do that, I find that x is equal to 0.99. 609, let's see, I've got two, four, six sig figs, two, four, six sig, fig, uh, sig figs. So I'm going to take it out one more spot. So that means uh, nitrogen 14, this as a percentage, would be 99.6090%. That must mean 1 minus that number, uh, 1 minus. 0.996090 will give me um, a percent composition for nitrogen 15 of being uh, 0 0.391.